What's going on, guys? I want to put together a video for you today real quick. And I was just going through some things I had and came upon this trophy. And to me, it really spoke about the problem with the sim community right now. There's three things on this plaque that are missing from the sim community. Leadership, dedication, and teamwork. And without that, I don't think we're going to be successful. Now, I don't know if anybody's came out and said this officially, so I'll be the first one. If you haven't watched Versus' video, clearly something like that is, is a necessity to see who people align themselves with and where things are now. But that's not an end-all to where things have to be. You know, right now the problem is we've got three groups in the community. You've got myself, Versus, and Apex, who were the founding members of the Sim Standard, or at least part of the founding group, unlike some people who claim to be but aren't, and that's all I'll speak on that. And we've went back to the formula that the community got us to in terms of success, and that's independently making videos. Now, you've also got the Sim Standard, who is down to one or two at best founding members and have aligned themselves with EA. And then you have Simheads United, MD20, and a group of other people who continue to put pressure on EA, in some cases, I don't want to say misdirected, but through the sim standard, preaching the same principles that everyone else stood for originally, which is improved gameplay, better simulation, and being accountable for glitches and errors in the game, and resolving them in a timely fashion. Now, in that separation, the people getting hurt is actually the community. It's the reason why our community is small in terms of what you see out of Call of Duty or World of Warcraft. Despite football being immensely popular, Madden being a, a very well-selling game, I think really what impedes the community growing more and more is the fact that everything is kind of isolated. So Azurafek had posted on the Versus video that myself, Apex, and Versus walked away from the channel. And in some cases that may be true, but listen, at the end of the day, I think we can all understand that can be water under the bridge. So what I'm asking the community to do is push for a resolution to allow the founding members of the Sim Standard back on a channel they helped create to unify the community into one voice and make that voice be what it always stood for. Like we talked about, getting a better simulation football game. Now, I can understand there are some people that don't like the ways and approaches some use to get that out there. That doesn't mean the videos don't have to be made and censored. It just means you have to do it in a professional and respectful fashion. And for the most part, the videos I've seen, that's exactly what people do. Now, regardless of what happens with that, if the community can't be brought back together, I think the people that are restricting that owe the community an explanation as to why. Furthermore, whether I'm a part of the Sim Standard or not, and again, getting back to the core basis of this video being the community improving, I think the private videos that were made and sent to EA should be made public so that the community knows exactly what issues were brought up and exactly what things were or were not addressed based on those issues. And I don't think that's something where the community needs to be told through EA why things were or were not fixed. Certainly that's information that hasn't been passed along for the longest time. But I think it's important we know what things were being passed along. And I really don't ever see the need for private videos being shown to a company to improve a product that hides them from a community that got people there in the first place. I find that extremely counterproductive. So with that said, I'd like your guys' opinions on this. I 
honestly hope Versus makes a response video. I would love to see you guys approach the members of the Sim Standard about this. And like I said, let's unify a community again. Let's all act as one voice. Let's get a better product in a professional, respectful way. And if we can't do that, like I said, the community deserves to know why and explanations going forward. Until then, unfortunately, we're going to continue to separate ourselves and hurt the community that is honestly responsible for all of the success we've had. There's no other way to look at it than that. Appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. I will be back in the week with more, and I hope you guys enjoy your weekend.